How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to an early look at Loot Craft. This game is coming out November 14th, something you can keep an eye out on. I'll have a link down below. You can go wishlist it, uh, all that good stuff. Keep a good eye on it. I'll be Graham, nim 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 nim. It's close enough to the real thing. This is actually created by a solo developer, which is pretty cool. They did everything with the music, so art and programming, all of that was theirs. After all this time, it begins. We have a little fairy coming to perhaps awaken our spirit or some such trope. <laughs> um, something that I, I think I should state right away is, from anyone who's maybe looked at trailers or anything for this game, there might be a misconception that it's actually a roguelike. Not true. The game is all about loot, about progression, about becoming a stronger, better character, and loot doesn't really work very well when you lose everything at the end of a run. So yeah, there's death and there's penalties to be had, but you don't restart. It is, it does proceed. Wake up, Grem Nim 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 Hi, I'm Wispy. I'll help guide you through the wacky world. I probably will largely skip the stuff that feels tutorial-y. Ooh, I'm gonna punch some baddies up real good. I can jump or the, I can do like a backflip. Somehow I did like a Sonic the Hedgehog charged up roll there a second ago and I, I can't seem to recreate it. Oh, there's wall jumping and double jumping. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Oh, this is kind of funny. The different pieces of the UI are actually uh, part of the loot. So I'm, I'm picking up uh, my health bar, like an inventory. It's a, it's a funny, funny way. If you're going full loot, make everything about the loot. Oh, I'm, I have managed to kind of figure out how to do the hedgehog ball. Up in space, and then you get to kind of choose which way. I don't entirely see the purpose of it. I guess I maybe discovered it a little early. Rarity, zero. My guy is uh, one, in a, one in a dozen. Nothing, nothing really unique about him. Oh, the lever snapped off when I opened that little gate. Now now I have uh, this stick, the broken lever, to whack things with. There. It's it's a little bit rare. Barely. It's not even a full level. It's a pretty terrible weapon overall. <laughs> I, guess you, I guess you always kind of do a double attack, but it's... Yeah. Yeah, you just, you just always swing both. Butt slams. There's a, there's a lot more, like... Mario platforming mechanics that I expected in this sort of game. So in the journal, it's kind of like a, a bestiary, a, achievement tracker, the different uh, environmental types and everything. Even a dirt block gets logged in there. Plain old dirt rarely contains gems and minerals, although this time it did actually drop a gem. Can be placed in equipment. Armor is plus health. Weapon is plus two chance to pacify. Or it can be sold for gold. Ah, the elemental amulet, binding the elemental stones in harmony, providing balance to the world. So symmetrical and shiny, but most importantly, so very balanced. Bask in its glorious balance with me for a moment. You see the beauty of balances. Okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> there's, a, there's enough of that. Oh, we're getting different portals opened up. The big tomb seems to be busting open. Uh-oh, that can't be good. For the balance, the elemental planes have remained closed since the end of the dark times. They should never open unless... Oh, no. <gasps> Exclamation points. Oh, shadow me. Hey, uh, that thing looks a lot like you. Do you two know each other? Could you ask it to settle down? The balance is extremely delicate. So far, the damage is pretty freaking bad, but there's nothing that can't be fixed, right? Right? No, the balance. <laughs> She's been shattered. Uh, I couldn't, was that four per world and then a bunch that went into the actual like, tomb itself? Not like this. The elemental stones scattered back into their elemental planes once again. Perfect balance, shattered into chaos. Ooh, a little 3D cube and fireworks. Doesn't seem very celebratory. Oh, there's keys. Keys per each. They're the only way to open elemental planes. They must not fall in the wrong hands. Quickly, try and get them. They cannot be lost. Oh, 
Okay, nope, never mind. Didn't get a chance to do anything. No, not the keys. This can't be. Is that supposed to be like a not the bees? Nicholas Cage, not the keys. No. All the ruckus and he just leaves. What a bad, bad guy. Very bad stuff right there. I can already feel my powers growing weak. Yeah. Without the balance provided by the elemental stones, the world we know will crumble out of existence. Yeah. Managed to snag one little key. Is that one of the precious keys? It, it can't be. I thought they were lost. Then there is still hope. We might be able to restore balance. Hurry, go get the key before it's too late. Use it to collect the elemental stones and restore balance to the world. Depending... There's like minimum five different worlds, four different things each. It's 20 different stones to recover, plus like an end thing here. I think this game might have a lot of content. Pretty, pretty impressed just like trying to measure that up without actually even having experienced it yet. On to the green world it is then. I, I thought accessing it would be as simple as walking up to it. Off we go then. It's, I'm guessing it, it's like a nature one. There was like an ice, fire. I don't really know what all the different colors are. Dungeon 1-5. Oh, no. 125. Oh, God. So there is 80 different, like, levels of increasing difficulty, each having its own gem, I presume. Uh, and it is... Okay, there is still World 1-1 breakdowns as well. More Mario-esque-ness. And uh, a new thing in the journal here. Sleep. Prevent noticing targets for 60 seconds. I don't really... There must be something sleeping nearby me for that to become a thing. I, I have so little understanding of... There, there's going to be so much to discover in such a short period of time. Like, emerald deposit. Rich crystalline emerald deposit. And what that's good for. Place in the armor uh, and weapons. Sure. D can I collect, like, basically everything? Like, the flowers. Add a little bit of something. Uh, I grab a few more emeralds while I'm at it. Noxious Aether can be placed, used to alter the color of equipment. Uh, it can be used to alter the color of equipment. So that's that sort of stuff is going to be pretty basic. But it does uh, encourage the idea that itemization really is king in this game. Oh, I, I'm going to have to get really used to that. The, the sonic spin move thing I keep using on accident already. Ah. Uh, Thought he was going to drop some of his weapons. First kill, though. Just a regular old troll. I hope when enemies drop things, they, like, persist. That I don't necessarily have to go chase them all, all the time. That I, I, it's not, it's not too big of a rush when it, like, drops down to the bottom of the map. I'm going to check this little side door. Do a little bit of, uh, extra exploration. It, it is, like... Uh, world 1-1 and different floors and all that stuff, but it is procedural. So it's like, uh, I do have to kind of discover this stuff. There, there's no there's no guaranteed layout is what I'm thinking. Like, oh god, okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. This archer guy below me is messing me up. Oh, it's a good time. It's a good time to take a level up, actually. Unlocked a shop. Hmm. I don't know how. Ooh. A little bit of, like, mining for coal while we're at it. Nah, it's just more vo voidium. We have flawed rubies, grunts, legards, monite. Uh, the, most of the stuff is, is meant for colors. There's uh, just discovering too many things too quickly. Buy and sell items using coins at the shop. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to click through all that stuff. Plus four health. We got ourselves some nice, nice purple pants. That's all I need. We're good with just that, right? I don't need any further uh, items to, to become a hero. As long as I got these nice fashionable shorts to see me through, everything's going to be all right. It just seemed like a fun idea to bash through all of that dirt. There didn't really end up being a whole lot of anything over there. Oh, I got these skeleton archer guys are really going to give me uh, a lot of grief, aren't they? I need to get much more used to the the control scheme because I keep using this uh, upward dash thing when I don't mean to it's uh, 
it's gonna be an issue <laughs> until I get a little bit more familiar with uh, the specific controls in this game. Ah, I've already got myself a discarded head cover. I'll recard it then. And common leg plates, level two, and they go on legs. Uh, it seems like it adds nothing, so I'll, I'll keep the ones that actually do something. Uh, where, where did that red arrow go? Did I touch it or interact with it or anything? I don't know what that was all about. Oh, I, I found like a carrot and apple. They just bounced around and they just recovered health. Overpowered. Destroy targets with one hit for 20 seconds. Oh! So I, I just found like a little bit of like a temporary upgrade. There's the carrots and apples uh, doing their thing. You just get upgrades or, or re replenished health on the spot. You don't store it in your inventory. It's just, it's like automatic, like health orbs in Diablo or something. The bent lantern, an offhand thing, it doesn't seem to do anything, but yeah, I want to, I want to load up on as much gear as I can. So put it, put it in my hand. Maybe it'll be slightly better than attacking things with nothing. I do have pretty heavy duty fists though. So I mean, maybe there we go. Okay, the platforming is a little tricky. Needs to, needs to get a little more comfortable with it. It might be a little easier with a controller, but uh, I don't think you can actually use a controller in this game. Oh, turns out there was music the whole time. It was just accidentally turned way down. That was a weird default setting. Got ourselves this floaty little bat. Crap. He's kicking my ass though. I'm not landing a lot of hits here the way I'm intending to. Get back here. I got this guy shooting at me from down below. I gotta drop down there and take care of that. I can't I can't be having that. Not on my watch. Hey, he can do rolly moves as well. Uh the the butt slam doesn't actually count as damage. That's uh that's mildly disappointing. I'm I'm bashing my way through down here because I was hoping I could find some like fruits and veggies down here that I could use uh, to recover a little bit of health. Uh, I'm in slightly better shape now. That looks like I won't have access to it? Hmm. Alright, I need a key or something. What the hell? Why is... Is that letting me know there's like a boss in this area? Maybe? A bat? Oh, okay, no. It's, that's just an additional way of letting me know that that is uh, discovered. World 1-1, one -one, I'm on like the third floor of it, so I'm, I'm working towards like a little end boss, even just on the one encounter, the, the one floor, and I'm fairly confident there's 80 floors to this. So there's, there's a lot to be done, which means there's a lot of loot to be found and a lot of progression to be made. There we go. Unlocked an anvil. Hey, maybe I can start doing some crafting of my own. Upgrade gems and socket them into equipment using coins at the anvil. I think that is stuff in, like, the overworld. Because, uh, I should look at this. Invulnerable. Ignore damage for 40 seconds. That was nice to have. Uh, return to town is something that I can do. So I'm guessing if I die or, or need a break or need to sell gear or anything like that, I would retreat to town and that's where things like the anvil would come into play. This game is teaching me that I have a weird habit to hold up when I when I jump in video games. I guess it's because I'm, I'm just trying to like direct my movement or something, but it's kind of a hindrance in this game because then it makes you do the directional Sonic the Hedgehog thing and I'm usually not trying to do that. <laughs> in these circumstances. Floor 4. I would love to live long enough to check out the floor beyond and see what kind of uh, bosses or anything wait for me there. Ah, we're catching someone asleep. Oh, it's like a weird mosquito thing. Just weird the way he was curled up on the ground there. Just doesn't seem like a typical way for an enemy to, to rest up. A bug. He's just a bug. It's not even a, a special bug of any kind. It's a pretty, pretty typical bug. The the heavy door that I couldn't open is the door I came through, so basically you just can't go backwards. Ooh, that, like, coal seam or whatever is going on there is shining a little bit. Maybe, I, I guess it's just regular. Thought maybe that was indicative that there would be something worth capturing from there. Oh, look at that gold. I'm a rich, rich man. Ooh, I have something else here, too. Bent leg guards, they're, they're level threes. 
Minus four health. Oh, it's probably relative to what I'm currently wearing. It's not that that literally subtracts health from me. That's not something I plan on making use of. Oh god, that was a far, far fall. I gotta get in the game here and bash up some skeleton. I can say, uh, I, th I think the art and everything works. Some of the dirt piles look a little bit plain, but I, I get that they need them to be blocky and distinct uh, and easy to recognize and everything like that. I will say that the, the music uh, and sound, sound effects overall could probably use a little bit more of a punchier quality. Uh, it, like, there's a lot going on on screen there, and you just don't really hear it. I would say that's something that could use some improvement. So you see, I don't actually lose gear. Did I drop stuff in my bag? Not even. Uh, so there's the shop. You can buy and sell items at the shop using your coin. I just like the, the shopkeeper here with his big top hat and cigar. The shop stocks useful items but charges a hefty profit, so spend wisely. You can repurchase an item that you've had, sold uh, previously. And the anvil, where we can do some crafting, socketing, gem, gem work. Uh, yeah, I'll probably play around with that a little bit. More powerful equipment, it's more expensive to socket it. Can't get your gems back, so that's a, a helpful warning. I should probably, rather than having whatever this stupid thing is, the bent lantern, swap that out and and use a shield. It may be tarnished, but it's as, it's as the best we have. Weathered fists, you can even see that. I do love that you get to physically see the upgrades within your character. So what's up, dude? I, I figure I probably want to sell some of my, my stuff I got here. He's got chipped and flawed amethysts. It's it's going off of uh, Diablo logic in, in that sense. You can have my chipped stuff. I don't I don't give a damn. Oh there, I could not figure out how to do it. I you click on, on the gold there, and then here's where the buyback would be. Honestly, he doesn't charge uh, an obscene amount or anything like that. But I don't I don't really want to buy color things and, and gems. I, I got plenty of my own gems and all that. I'll I'll mind my own here. I have eleven amethysts. I have so many or emeralds, emeralds, I have so many emeralds. I imagine two isn't enough to combine. Hmm. Yeah, uh, it turns red when you only place two in the altar there. Uh no it doesn't. Combine two two topazes? Yeah, it, it needs to be three. Same as Diablo logic. I don't really care about coloring equipment right now, so it seems like a great way to just uh, gain a bunch of money very quickly. So let's see. Starting with 11, combine. It took four. It actually took four to make uh, a full emerald. Chance to shock or just gaining extra armor. My equipment kind of sucks. Uh, maybe maybe I give it a try. Maybe maybe I socket something in there. Did any of you guys come with sockets? I can't just I I, I was of the understanding I had to add sockets to them. Oh, there we go. I just drag it on there. Zero. It it can't be socketed then, perhaps? Yeah, I don't appear to be able to socket any of the equipment I currently have. Alright, if I go back in it starts me over, doesn't it? I would have to defeat, like, the boss of the world 1-1 before it would allow me to properly advance. So we'll take a- we'll take a stab at it. We'll see what we can manage. Now that we're a little bit higher of a level, a little bit more equipment? Really not a ton. Loot. I should use the- the proper terminology here, you know? All equipment is loot, but not all loot is equipment. Yes, <laughs> something to just keep in mind and help- Help keep things distinct. Wow, I really kind of raced through that one. Uh, as I should. It's World 1-1. One -one. It's like, might as well be a tutorial of its own. Uh, but yeah, it was just filled with those tiny little trolls. And they suck. They're, they're bad at what they do. It was no concern at all. So many, so many things that are just used for dying equipment. I almost wish, I almost wish like, the bag had tabs that was like uh, gems, actual loot, and then dyes all ended up in different places. Loose grips, forged cuffs, 
but this one adds four health. It, it is a bit better, but I do just kind of want to see the slight differences. Uh, it's funny, you, you can physically see it change on your character, even when it's like the tiniest little like two picture, two pixel item that you're selecting. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta exit out of these menus and make it down to these, these Bowmans. These guys are tough. Well, not so tough. <laughs> when I got in there and actually just kind of committed, committed to the battling, it wasn't so bad. But I'm, I'm still a little bit concerned about the overall output of damage that comes from them. Ooh, that looked useful. Might just be like a little head rag. A weathered raiment. And I have no I don't don't know what that word is, but it matches. It perfectly matches my nice purple pants. I got a nice thing going on here. I guess technically the Graham Games stuff is purple themed. Maybe I should be more excited about that rather than just being like, ah, okay, that's fine. That's good enough. <laughs> I thought it was neat that they matched, but now now it's straight up a thing. Oh, two weapons at once. Two, which is neat. A simple hammer. I should have just sold, like, all my stuff. One hand, uh, mace, three damage, adds to health, and plus a old hacker. Another axe also adds to health. I don't think I need a shield. Seems useless. I'm just going to stick with the simple hammer and the old hacker. It's the, the classic combo that everyone is always, always talking about. Oh, I need a effective way to... Okay, there you go. I, I'd, I'd want to toss the loot in a way that it doesn't automatically just get picked back up again. I don't want all these dyes and garbage, so I'm chucking that, chucking that away. Oh, I like the way he comes strolling out. Okay, I don't like the way that guy dropped down on my head like that. But I like the way my character comes strolling out of that door, dual wielding. He's like, yeah, I'm here to rock and roll. I'm going to do some damage. It's a uh, main hand, three damage. It's slow. My, my current weapons are also adding to my health. I don't really want to trade that off at the moment. Not well, I still suck. Come on, get a little a little faster with your chopping actions there. All right, now weapons are dropping just like mad, like absolutely everywhere. Two damage, three, three, so it gets uh, beat out there. And ooh, -hoo -hoo, five damage and even better health, the soldier's battle axe. I do like old hacker. I'm going double axes now for the time being. There was like no real difference between those two items, so I just went with the one whose name I liked better. Damn it. I've really not gotten used to the the weight of the platforming in this. Like I, I seem to quite frequently over and under jump things. I, I don't have a great feel for that currently. And I, I sonic all the time when I don't mean to. I have not gotten good at that at all. Come on, I'm level four. You guys are a joke for me now. I knock you right off your little dirt stone platform there. Bring it down to my level. Make it a fair fight. I'm gonna show you guys what's up. I'm I'm pretty well fully trained at this point. No more practice. I'm an efficient killing machine, not someone who would die in level one dash one. I'm I'm ready to rock is largely what I'm building up to. I think I said that a minute ago. That was just, that was for my own sake. That was like building up my, my own confidence. It wasn't true, I didn't mean it. Uh, I was trying to like psych out the enemies around me. Now I mean it. Now it's the truth. Now I truly have the rock within me and it will not, not be stopped by such simple a creature as a bug. All right, it might be though, because they're really, they've, that they like to fly a lot and they're very hard to catch when they do that. So I <laughs> I am a little bit concerned. I kind of wish I had some uh, some ranged weaponry. I'm assuming that is something that I can uh, obtain in the game. I can't see why not. Ooh, a great belt. Defective. I thought it was detective. <laughs> detective great belt. He's, uh, he's on the case of the missing loot. Ah, uh, what do you know? I found it. It was absolutely everywhere. This grass is glowing more than I would expect. Uh, it was just full of a bunch of stuff that I don't want or care about. 
Oh god, I got a new hat that I want to try on. But I also have a bunch of bats that I'm trying to not die fighting. Ah, ah, apple. Apples are good. Apples heal. I'm bailing. I don't know what that purple upgrade is for, but I'm assuming it'll be something helpful. I'm just trying to avoid conflict while I heal a little bit. Oh god. Oh no. This is going very poorly. And now I've quartered myself with all sorts of enemies all at once. And that's not good. Come on, man. No! Bastard. Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe I died on the 1-4 again. Oh, I just found like a way, way better belt. You're so cut. Oh, I found two. Two of the same quality of thing. They both, they both add a ton. Soldier's Cask. Another 9 health addition. Another big step up. Sell, like, all of my junk. I'm, I got a lot of crap that I don't need. I guess I'm not interested in chipped quality gems. I'm just going to immediately ditch that stuff. Oh, the, the purple thing was uh, an experience gain. I was just curious, curious what it actually added. I have no concept of what I am and am not allowed to socket. Like, I, I don't know why I can't combine things. This seems to be what it's for. Like, I should be able to add sockets to things, and then I would be able to put it in the socket. Can't seem to do it. Having my, my belt is very fashionable. Creates a nice visual, distinct line between my... Ooh, nice. Oh, I can't believe I was so close to leveling up. That means I could have killed one of those enemies, and I would have stayed alive in that previous attempt there. I completely forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by that. Ah, yeah, I just like, I liked the leotard look, but now people can see there's a little bit more going on, you know? A learn new ability, uh, the orb, and unlock new ability that can be learned at the orb. Okay. <laughs> so I don't currently have new abilities. Do you know what? I've, I just started this. I'm, I'll, I'm going to go to town. Might as well. Might as well go find out what the orb is or does. The orb grants you powerful new spells. You can learn up to three unique sp spells at this level. Uh, the spells you master are permanent. Choose wisely. Ooh. I didn't mean to go there. Cancel. Luckily, I can cancel. Flashy. Real, real nice this orb is. I'm hoping I can grab some, like, passive abilities, maybe? Uh, every single one of them has a cooldown. Rejuvenate. I think I want that. I think I kind of need to be able to heal. <laughs> it's, uh... Seeming to be important. I was gonna- I wanted to take like Rampage or something that was deal a bunch of uh, damage for a short amount of time. I think I just need to be able to heal. Ooh, the Grunt's Mind Vault. It's only level one. It looked neat. It was nice and golden, so it was very attractive when I picked it up. It's not something I actually think I want or need. These loose harnesses and things, they're only worth one gold. A stone bandage? Is that what that was called? Garbage. So much garbage. A weathered wall shield. That looks like a better shield than I've ever had before, but again, still garbage. And fire stick, wand, don't want it, don't need it, not important. Oh man, I'm, I'm like one-shotting some of these guys right now, which is very satisfying. Oh baby, whatever the, the rise in strength that I finally had from a few different level ups. Seems to be making all the difference here. Granted, I'm I'm not far into things. Man, is this only count as 1-1 still? When I'm on like the second floor? I'm only on 1-1 floor 2. I thought that meant I was on like 1-2. How many levels and things does this game get you to go through? That's insane. And obviously it's like uh permanently it's gonna keep scaling. And, and difficulty of enemies and, and quality of loot found. This game might have, like, such an insane amount of content if you really, really choose to see it through. Holy crap. Ah, uh, yeah, the 1-2, the or not even, the floor 2 guys just have so little health. It's, like, already noticeable being on the third floor. Oh my god, I'm bad at controlling this platforming. 
Yeah, even just one level further, I'm I'm no longer one-shotting them. Oh, there was like a wand or something there. Ah, it's probably crap. Don't need it. Don't want it. Unimportant. The quality of loot seems to be directly tied to, like, where you are. So stuff you find on the first floor is going to be worse. Oh, that might be better. Uh, yeah. Infantry. Chest piece. Let's get a little bit more pink than what I've normally had. I should chuck things that are of an obviously crapper, crappier rarity based on like their color there. There's gray text things, green text. Uh, I don't know what other color delineations of rarity that the game uses. Oh, now I'm, now I'm in the shit. Things are <laughs> piling up against me and that's always when it seems to go most poorly for me. Sergeant's War Shield. Pretty good looking shield, uh, but I like my my current combination that I got going on here. All right, jump, wall jump, upper thing, wall jump, double jump. Damn it! It's the right combination of things to like scale this wall. I'm just bad at it. I'm taking I'm taking the path that requires less uh, precision. <laughs> no, what? I almost still screwed it up. Okay. Stop touching buttons. Holy crap. I hate the the way that you execute the sonic spin thing. I do it on accident way too often. The amount of content in the game and everything uh, is very impressive. My one grievance at this at this stage would be the relative relatively floaty feeling platforming. Uh, I guess I guess the sound could use use some work too, uh, but that's that's like a lesser complaint. I'm not overly concerned about that. That wouldn't be a deal breaker. You can have a plenty f plenty of fun with a game when it's on mute. It would just kind of take it to another level. God damn! All right, I'm running away from that guy. I can't even, I can't get to him. I hate these bugs. They suck. Just take me to take me to the next level, okay? These bugs mess me the hell up. I can't deal with it. Just go, go, go. There. I'm using, I'm using my skill. Apply, 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 apply. Yes, please, please, please. Okay, rejuvenate, rejuvenate. <laughs> now, now I'm fleeing from the, the giant troll for a second while I heal up a little bit. There we go. Okay, rejuvenate is going to be incredibly useful for me, I think. Uh, it doesn't have that long of a recovery time. I can just use it and then bail. Bail so hard. Rejuvenate. This was the correct choice for me personally. I'm a little worried. Oh, these... No, no, they're like noxious. For half a second I thought they were beneficial in some way and I don't know why I thought that would ever be the case. I don't know what that was. I don't think I made it to it in time though. I wanted that. I wanted to pick up whatever the floaty thing was. I... <laughs> It's funny how immediately I felt that I wanted it, even though I have no concept of what it possibly could have been. What's with all this guy? He's, he's applying a bunch of like buffs and stuff to himself, so I'm trying to be trying to be a little cautious. Oh, yes! I don't know what that is. What do I do with it? Attack it? I tried to just touch it. It didn't seem to do anything. Hmm. That might just be... That might be his doing. That might be what is actually casting the like noxious vines around the room so that that seems to be what's going on rejuvenates the best uh, best skill in the game <laughs> I basically have infinite health I, I just gotta keep spamming attack I seem to have a good vantage point on him here oh uh, he's, he's trying to drop vines on me you try to drop vines on me I'll show you what's up you giant mother effing troll oh my god <laughs> Why did- come on! Why is this last 10% of his health account for 50% of his health? It was so difficult to get a finishing blow there, jeez. Alright, zap me away, I guess. Was it- I, I assumed that was a portal and not a poison cloud of some kind. Phew. One damn gem. That was hard fought for. Brutal. Okay. Hey, I can go to the next, like, area if I want. I wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe 
Yeah, I I probably have to go through. Yeah, okay, so there are 80 levels minimum. It's probably closer to like 100. There's probably 20 per thing. Uh, broken up into chunks of five. This makes a lot more sense actually when I when I read it again. So six through ten will be in blue and it, it'll like rotate around like that and it will come back around to green. So that there's some clarification there that makes a lot more sense. I'll just prove that rather than leaving it up to massive uh, assumptions and everything. Uh, six to ten. Yes. A better chest guard, so I'll do a quick swap out there. 24 power in hands. I, I like, don't even really know what power is for. Extra damage. I, it, it raises me by about two damage. It's nothing crazy, but I'll take it. I like the, I like to switch things up a little bit. I'll, I'll peek my head into the blue world. Uh, just to see maybe, like, what... The first enemy I encounter is, but I don't expect to to stick it out for very long. I'm just kind of just kind of showing off, just playing around. Ooh, barrel full of carrots, slime, slime monster right away. Something new. We also got some sort of like evil looking genie. I guess is what this guy is. I don't want to get too close. Uh, I didn't mean to dive right into a swarm of different enemies the way that I have. But apparently that's just how I do. Look at the number of like debuffs that they've applied to me. You guys, I can't deal with that much shit. I'm too big of a rookie. You you get down there. You hang out on the ground here with me where I can actually stand a chance of maybe killing you and gaining a tiny shred of experience. Apparently I might need to grind it out a little bit more somewhere else to have the appropriate level of skill to take any of that on skill power equipment any of it really hey speaking of power uh, I probably would hang on to my health first yeah there you guys have it loot craft coming out November 14th something you can keep an eye out for thank you all so much for watching I'll see you again soon